Hello, hello, it's Gaplock again and today we're going to show you what's going on when our clients are getting connected to Litecoin, one of the earliest Bitcoin forks in large proof of work network. Although Litecoin doesn't support smart contracts, its nerd is very popular for analytical services, trading bots, charts, dashboards, cross-chain DEXs and so on. In this short demo video, we will experiment with Litecoin shared nodes. It's an entry-level offering by Gaplock. Your services are using the same node with other clients. As such, we need to open the shared nodes section in the main menu. Let's find Litecoin node. You can use the ticket LTC. To start the demonstration, we need to copy the endpoint addresses from the endpoints tab. Then, we should copy the endpoint address to the Postman terminal and choose post as a type of request by changing get value to post value. Once this is done, go to the headers tab and set the parameters of our connection. First, let's input X API key as a type of our key. To set the value properly, we need to have our unique API key. It has the number of account assigned by Gaplock mechanisms. To do so, we need to get back to our Gaplock account and open your API settings segment. We copy API data from the black field and paste them into the corresponding string of headers. Once API data is filled, we need to set other inputs for our request in the body tab. We need row data about the blockchain processes, so let's choose row as a type of data requested and JSON as the data format. To set up the body of our request, let's get back to get block once again. In the main menu, let's open the documentation module. Then please find the drop-down menu available node methods in the left section of the menu and find the Litecoin point and choose get block hash comment. What does this mean? This comment allows to see the hash of the block with this or that number. In blockchain, hashes are used to secure the integrity of block mining process. As such, we need to copy the last seven strings of the request, the part that starts after the words data row and paste it into the request field. Right now, just one little thing separates us from sending the request to the Litecoin blockchain. We need to know the number of blocks we're seeking for a hash off. Let's repeat our first steps. Go to the Litecoin section in the shared notes menu. Then please copy the height value in the blockchains. The number of last block added is called block height. Then let's copy this number to param string and send the request blue button in the upper right to the blockchain. And that's it. The hash is demonstrated in the result string. We're good to go. We just reached the Litecoin blockchain with our gap block API key and extracted crucial row data. Have a great day and stay tuned for more updates from us.